Um, good morning, everybody. I'm here today to talk to you about innovation in, in fire safety, in, in particular uh, fire extinguishers. So I'm going to be very brief and try and keep it as exciting as possible. It's a very difficult task. Um, but I hope we can all agree that innovation needs to be encouraged and um, new ideas explored and developed in, in all industries. Um, companies need to look at where improvements can be made to benefit the customer, the industry, and the environment and innovate at every stage um, through the product life cycle. So if we look at our own production facilities that we use, we look at innovation right at the very beginning. When we first design anything that we do, we look at the materials we can use. Now, typically, using recycled materials in firefighting has been a big no-no, but there is a mindset change to that. If we can develop it, we can test it, and we can ensure that it works, then it's, it's a win-win it's a win for everybody and the circle economy that we are achieving to, um, or striving to achieve. But then we look at manufacturing and how do you innovate in your manufacturing processes themselves. So you move away from dirty, horrible techniques such as painting, welding, welding splattered, getting rid of all these horrible, toxic chemicals that you use in those processes, and how you can benefit that as well. So we... We moved away from steel production in August of last year after 50 years of doing so, and we're now completely a composite um, company. So basically, um, when we look at sustainability, it's responsible all of us to measure our practices and see where improvements can be made. A circular economy is definitely the way forward, and customers are keen to adopt sustainable solutions for business targets. Now. Years ago, it used to be the first question anybody asked when you took a new product to them was cost. How much does it cost? And I'm really pleased to say that people are moving away from that now, and it seems to be more around what benefits they can get from sustainability targets. Um, that's particularly in the UK because our tax that organizations pay is going to be based on their carbon footprint going forward. So there, there is a mind shift change to that, which is really good. And often, if you adapt those sustainable solutions, you get the cost savings too. So it's a win-win for everybody. But then innovation brings issues. It brings, innovation brings blockers for the industry. Um, we have standards, which are great, absolutely fantastic. And I sit on the British standards for firefighting equipment, also for the UK and, and for Europe. But regulations need to move quicker. We stifle innovation by not moving faster. It used to take five years to write a standard still takes five years, but it was five years, 30 years ago. So why can't we move faster with new technology? You know, why well, used to attend BSI meetings? You used to get a set of memos sent to you afterwards, and then it would be circulated, everybody would sign them back. We've got email now. Somebody needs to tell them. It's so easy. We can move a lot quicker. And, and that will help bring along the benefits that we all get from it. So the current state of play with metal extinguishers, and I'm sure you've all got metal extinguishers, here, some people, some oil companies in, the, in this uh, region have, have already started taking our composite units. But the issues around the extinguisher market is it's very old fashioned. It's service them, sell you to, service to, maintain to, and ultimately scrap to. We've got to move away from that. We can't just keep producing product all the time. We've got to look at how we can create a longer life for products and also look at what we're, we're currently being supplied with. Currently in the UK, and I can talk about the UK with some general knowledge on that, but 70, over 75% 75 of the extinguishers that are sold in the UK are manufactured in China. Nothing wrong with that, but they travel 4,000 miles to the UK before we actually put them onto a wall. So why are we doing this? Why aren't we producing locally? Why aren't we sourcing local materials? And then you've got the, the, the PFAS chemicals as well. So I don't know if you're all aware of PFAS or, or not, but certainly last year at this, at this event, there was a really good presentation. I don't know if the guy's here again this year, but there's a doctor from, I think it was from Australia or New Zealand, did a really good presentation on these cancer-causing chemicals, and now we have to move them out of our, our products and absolutely 100% concur with that. So, and we have a, a full PFAS free range of, of products as well. So times are changing. We are getting there. We, we've had lots of success in, in our own country, and we're hopeful that we can do that here too. So just to run through our composite revolution, um, the fire extinguisher market is an example of how innovation can impact. 
as you can see on the graphics here, I'll just talk through very quickly because we are, we are tight for time. But the P50s use 20% or 22% less energy than traditional manufacturing processes. We often use one extinguisher where two are provided, so we don't need the CO2 because we have a, a range of um, water-based products that are safe use on live electrics. You don't need the service visits every year, and that's another blocker. That's where people say, oh, we're going to lose our recurring revenue. Well, customers don't want the recurring revenue. You don't need to do that. There's new modern materials that don't need that. We have a 20-year lifespan, PFAS free, reduction in carbon footprint, uh, recyclable, and it's better for the environment as well. So with that said, I think we all need to embrace for good. Um, and the range of products that we've got are, are, are all certified as well. But the next steps for Britannia is to take it to the very next level. We're now looking at using AI in our products and using um, sensors in them so as you can have reactive as opposed to proactive approach. We're also talking about the uh, lithium-ion battery situation. We've also got P50 fire extinguishers with ABD in it, which is aqueous vermiculite dispersion. This is a, an agent that can be used on batteries in thermal runaway, not for vehicles or anything like that, but for small devices such as laptops, iPhones, scooters, etc. And that's a perfect development that we've, we've worked to, alongside ABD to develop. Um, and alongside our Monix powder that's also coming this year as well. Okay, thank you very much.